Welcome back to the studio, everybody. My name is Jim, and in this video, I'm showing you how to add color to your clay. So if you're curious, get ready. Now there's two basic ways you can add color to clay. One way is using raw materials like these here, and the other way is by using what are called mason stains. Now these are combinations of oxides and ceramic frits that create reliable, rich and bold and uniform colors for your clay. Here are some ceramic raw materials. Yellow iron oxide, copper carbonate, red iron oxide, chrome oxide, manganese dioxide, and cobalt carbonate. You know, the Statue of Liberty is made of copper. And when copper gets weathered and oxidizes over time, it forms a thin layer of copper carbonate. That's why it's green. Now, red iron oxide is oxidized iron, rust. That's why it's that reddish brownish color. When rust forms in your car, the outer layer of rust is a condensed layer of red iron oxide. Now, these last three you see in glaze recipes, but they're not really good for clay because they're toxic. Chrome turns a clay green, cobalt turns a clay blue actually, manganese dioxide will turn a clay body black, especially if you use more of it. But you have to wear gloves and the fumes from the kiln are toxic, so I don't recommend using it. So here we have hunter green, crimson red, robin's egg blue, and tangerine. I also have a black. Depending on the color, any one of these can be $10 a pound or $10 for a quarter pound. So use them wisely. Let's make some colored clay. In this video, I'm using two pounds of a very white porcelain. I'm gonna add 1% of this black mason stain, which is about five grams per pound. And I also have a respirator because it is not good to breathe in dust from the mason stains or anything from that matter. Use a different surface to wedge this up because it might stain your canvas or wherever your workstation is. Now before I wedge this mason stain into this clay, I'm gonna cut this clay into four or five pieces or discs. It makes it much easier to mix the mason stain in. If you just dump this on the table and roll this around, it takes a lot longer. Mask on. Now this is more of a gray than a black, but it's only 1%. You could imagine what 10% might look like. Although, next to the normal clay, you can see it's quite different. It actually fires a little bit darker too. Here's a little pebble I made. Your normal test tile, no glaze. Then here's one with clear glaze on it. So it's a little bit richer, a little bit deeper with a clear glaze. You can see I didn't wedge enough for this first batch. So those streaks in there are big chunks of mason stain. This one should be a lot better. Now I just got my own batch of mason stains in for the home studio. So I'm looking forward to making some more colored clays. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. And if you want more, consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications. I'm Jim, and whenever possible, be sure to make, do, and learn.